Hi, welcome to the Creating at Home series for Create Studio. I'm Gemma, and I've got a fun project today that's about plastic bottles. Plastic bottles are something we always have around, even when you're using reusable bottles um, for taking out in the world with you. Typically, there's one around the house. I've got a simple one like this we're gonna work with today, and then I made one out of the same kind of bottle like this. This was an inspiration from one of our Pinterest pages, Spotlight on Plastic. So you can check that out on Pinterest at Create Studio and find all kinds of ideas, not only for plastic bottles, but other kinds of plastic things. So um, for this one, plastic bottle characters. We're gonna use our plastic bottles. We're gonna get some cardboard. And then I used some paper and a little bit of glue stick to glue the paper down and some paint, of course. So I've got some pieces of cardboard that I'm gonna have ready. I just wanna show you what to do with the bottle. So this is gonna be a grown-up job. We're gonna take, I already cut it, but I'll show you. I used a small kitchen knife. Again, this is for a grown-up. And we are just poking a hole into the side of the plastic bottle. And then I made another hole so it went sideways like an X. Let's see if we can see that close up kind of an X or a T, excuse me, a T. And then I did the same kind of cut on the opposite side. This means that I'll be able to put my cardboard pieces into the bottle. So you would essentially want to have those kinds of cuts into the bottle wherever you'd want to put cardboard. So if you wanted to have an eight armed monster, you'd probably want to do eight cuts. Then we're going to take our cardboard and just cut out a shape to make for the head. I'm going to start by making a smaller narrow piece this is sort of the neck and that's going to fit right into the opening of the bottle here and then i'm going to start to go around and make another shape i'm making kind of a round maybe i'll make it maybe i'll make it a bunch about ears and the head so i'm just cutting out my cardboard the way that i'm thinking i might want to make my character and you can do the same with yours for your character. Sometimes cardboard can be a little tricky. Oh, and it looks like, okay, I'm getting back to the finish. I had one extra piece here. So that's what I cut out. I've got a couple ears. They're like slightly unique as our, our own ears. And then that'll fit right into the bottle. A little snugly, but that's okay. Actually, I'm going to bend it a little bit to get it to sit in there nicely. There we go. Took a little work, but I got it. So now this part, you can draw, you can paint, you can color, you can glue things onto, and then we'll do two more pieces to make arms. I have a small piece of cardboard, so I'm going to cut um, a small arm. And again, because I cut smaller slits, I want to keep the end piece a little smaller. So then I've got an arm piece and I found that because I made a T, it helps if I use my finger to kind of press the car the plastic bottle open enough that I can shimmy that cardboard piece inside as far as you want it to go. So now we have one arm and a head. Then I'll do one more arm. Same thing I did before, I'm making kind of a hand shape, but you can decide what that's gonna ultimately be. But I did wanna keep my, my end small. And then I'm going to poke in again through my T on the other side and kind of shimmy it in as far as I want it to go. Then I've got those two parts. Then what I did later, and I, I won't do it now, but I will show you, is I saved a small piece of cardboard, put some glue on it, and then glued it to the bottom. That will help my character stand up on a table. Whoopsie, <laughs> like my, she has a bottom on her. And then you can use paper to draw out different details that you want to add to put on top, like I did with her or like I did with this guy here. 
so you can add other details and paint it. I assembled my body first, all the parts went in, and then I painted it afterward. So you can choose the way that works for you. I found that that worked well for me. You'll notice that my paint is kind of light. It's a little um, sheer. Then you can just paint more than one coat to get it to be more solid. Or you can use another trick that we're gonna do in our next video for plastic bottles. Hope you like this idea. We had a lot of fun with it making them and I hope you have a lot of fun creating them at home and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Please do subscribe to our channel. We're always gonna do fun, creative, reuse projects to use at home and we'd love to have you be a part of that. Thank you so much for being here with us today and we'll see you next time.